Good morning and welcome to Kid News, sponsored today by Bamboo Learning. Today is Friday, October 2nd, 2020. And we begin with major breaking news. President Trump and the First Lady both have the coronavirus. They were tested last night after one of his closest advisors, Hope Hicks, tested positive. The president's physician said Mr. Trump was well, without saying whether he was experiencing symptoms. The doctor added he expects the president to continue carrying out his duties without disruption. A short time ago, the White House released an updated public schedule for the president in which his public events had been canceled, including a planned rally today in Florida. But Mr. Trump will still do a midday phone call focused on COVID-19 with vulnerable seniors. Just before 1 a.m. Eastern this morning, the president tweeted he and his wife will begin their quarantine and recovery process at the White House immediately, adding, we will get through this together. A $23 million titanium toilet will head to its perch 200 miles above Earth, possibly as early as tonight. Two launch attempts have already been scrubbed. If the third time's the charm, it'll lift off from the Virginia coast shortly after 8 p.m. Eastern. According to NASA, the new and improved space station Lou is designed to keep the astronauts' business where it belongs. As you know, everything is weightless up there, and you just don't want that kind of stuff floating around. The premium potty is part of a unique 8,000-pound unmanned payload, riding up with it a bunch of extra air tanks and Estee Lauder's newest wrinkle serum. The cosmetics company is paying $128,000 for a celestial photo shoot, jumping in on NASA's big push to open the final frontier to marketing, industry, and tourism. California is a big state, and Mother Nature is making sure residents of both ends feel her wrath. According to the LA Times, a swarm of more than 600 earthquakes has hit the Imperial Valley near the Mexico border in the past few days, a hundred in just 24 hours, with the biggest so far registering 4.9 on the Richter scale. The area is known for shaking, but seismologists say this cluster is one of the largest ever. And to the north, temperatures are climbing and so are the winds, a troubling combination for those trying to save the wine country from an out-of-control wildfire. According to USA Today, the conditions are fueling fears that three separate blazes in the region could merge to create a mega inferno of one million acres. It took a while to confirm, but Brazilian surfer Maya Gabera now owns the record for largest wave ever surfed by a woman and the largest wave ridden by anyone this past season. How tall was it? 73.5 feet from crest to trough, according to scientists who measure those things, not with a ruler, but by using complicated equations that triangulate known objects in the images, like the surfers themselves, with locations of cameras to come up with the size. This particular wave broke off the coast of Portugal back in February. Maya says she knew it was a big one and just happened to be extra brave that day. Here's a riddle for you. When is bread not bread? The answer, when it's from Subway. The company learned that the hard way when it tried to get a tax break in Ireland. There, bread is considered a staple food and as such isn't taxed. But an Irish court said that only applies to loaves with a certain sugar content and every one of Subway's offerings have five times more than the maximum amount. What doesn't the footlong have any more? a flour whitening agent known as ADA. According to CNN, it's used in flip-flops and yoga mats and until 2014 was also used in Subway bread to make it fluffier, softer, and last longer. An online petition prompted the company to get rid of it. That's it for Kid News. Now our Kid News Quiz. What metal was used to make NASA's $23 million space toilet? Titanium. How many small quakes have hit Southern California in the past few days? According to the LA Times, more than 600. How big was the record setting wave ridden by a woman? Seventy three point five feet. 
Why did an Irish court rule that Subway's bread isn't bread? It reportedly has too much sugar. In one for the road. We've spent a lot of time the last few weeks talking about Ruth Bader Ginsburg and the impact she had on equal rights. Many have said she was to women what Thurgood Marshall was to the black community. Fifty-three years ago today, Mr. Marshall was sworn in as the Supreme Court's first black justice. Among his famous quotes, to protest against injustice is the foundation of our American democracy. For more on Justice Marshall and his many landmark decisions, just say, Alexa, open bamboo luminaries. Before we head out for the weekend, we turn it over to Kim for today's Kid News Shoutouts. Thanks, Tori. Today's teacher salutes go to Ms. Faring and her students at St. Hubert in Chanhassen, Minnesota, and Ms. Reed's class at Hopewell School in South Glastonbury, Connecticut. And we send birthday wishes to Douglas in Cape Town, South Africa, Nella in Jacksonville, Alabama, Adeline in Alexandria, South Dakota, Grace in Arlington, Virginia, Peyton in Greenfield, Wisconsin, Alex in Bolton, Connecticut, Arlo in Golden Valley, Minnesota, Ella in Bellevue, Washington, Malia in New Hampton, Iowa, Anya in Warsaw, Missouri, Caroline in Scottsdale, Arizona, and in California, Brody in Oceanside, Finley in Menlo Park, and Atticus in San Francisco, who's been listening since 2018. Thanks for listening, everyone. Don't forget our Week in Review quiz on our website. And we'll see you back here for more Kid News Monday morning. 